Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl, Zengaya, the Zen Libra, and welcome to my channel, Journeys with the Narcissist. On my channel, I attract energy from women that have gone through traumatic experiences with narcissists, and I tell their story through tarot. I promote uh, self-love. I promote healing. I promote women empowerment. I'm all about elevating the woman here. Okay? This is the goddess channel. Um, the goddesses rule here. We take center stage, um, which is where we're supposed to be anyway. This planet is supposed to be ruled by a woman. Okay? We are God here on earth. And that's why this, this world is in darkness. Because the original ruler that was designed to rule this world is not on the throne. So, ladies, we need to elevate ourselves so that we can get on back on the throne and take this planet back over. So it can get, be back uh, to, to the glory that it used to be when it was ran by the matriarch. Okay? All right, guys. Well, you know me. I'm here for you, as always. And I'm here to do a general collective reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. Aries, the first sign of the zodiac, the child. We call it the child because it is the first sign of the zodiac, and also it's because it's all about me, 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 me. You know, um, Aries can be very controlling. It's all about them. It's their way or the highway. Um, they take a lot of action. They can be uh, have a hot temper. Um, but uh, Aries will like to be alone at times, also. You know, um, they're very fixated on their the way that they look. Um, that's my Aries. Um, very passionate. I mean, they will. They're spoiled. Um, they will. Uh, that's why we call them the child. Also, they will have a temper tantrum if uh, all eyes are not on them. You know, but this is an unascended Aries. Um, but these are the qualities of my my um, fire sign. This is my Aries. All right, guys. All right. And the goddess energy that I pull from today to uh, help us give this message to the Aries is Mabuya Nahanda. And she's been coming out here quite a bit lately. Somebody is actually free from poverty, manipulation, all toxicity. You know, this person has changed. Um, they're ended a, a cycle that was really dark and they're entering into a new cycle. This person has changed, um, and they're ready. They're free. They, they've been liberated. They're free from all the darkness that they were under. Okay. This is my girl. And this person is having a radical rebirth, you know, it's a rebirth of their life. It's a rebirth of their attitude, a rebirth of their world. You know, um, it's impermanence. You know, they went through the darkness and now it's time for her to see the sun. This is my girl, Mabuya Nahanda, giving us the energy of radical rebirth. All right, I love to see that. I love to see that starting off the new year. Um, and this particular feminine, <clears throat> she's listening to her body. Okay, she's listening to her body. She's taking care of her temple. She understands that. The temple is a gift from the divine. If we didn't have this temple, we wouldn't be able to have this human experience. So um, treat it as the gift that it is and take care of it. You know, she's she's very wise um, and she's listening to her body. She's listening to her body. She's she's uh, taking a spiritual bath. She's drawing the energy from the moon. Um, she's taking care of herself. She could be working out, drinking a lot of water, meditating. Um, it's all about self-love and healing for her. She's elevating. She's elevated. She's had a radical rebirth. I love that. This particular feminine is loving herself. It's all about her. You know what I'm saying? That's that Aries energy, okay? It's all about her. It's time for her to spoil herself because she's been through... A lot. She's been through a lot. And she's been through a lot with these flying monkey bitches. You know what I'm saying? Especially the one in the middle. 
the head honcho. And then she got two bobblehead, bobblehead hoes, you know what I'm saying, that just do everything that she do. And this particular one is in the middle. She is obsessed with this feminine. Do you hear me? Uh, she in love with her. She in love with her. This is somebody who could be married to somebody that's interested in this feminine. Okay, uh, her husband or whoever she's married, her husband, whoever she's married to, is interested in this divine feminine. And this flying monkey bitch, she got her three, she got her other two people and they got this coven and they've been giving this feminine hell because her husband wants this woman. Okay, flying monkey bitches, karmic, you know what I'm saying? She got her two sweet pea head ass friends right with her, you know what I'm saying? She act like she want to, well, she wants some of this uh, uh, feminine, you know what I'm saying? But they've been giving her hell, y'all. They've been giving her hell. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I mean, she's so obsessed with this feminine. Uh, she thinks this feminine want her husband. She's so obsessed. She was trying to take this lady out of her, y'all. She was trying to unalive her. Her and her friends trying to unalive this lady because her husband wants her. This could be, uh, of course, she's a melanated woman. She has dreads. Um, she has a pure energy, and they can't stand it, and they want to take her out of her. They want to take her out of her, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This, this head bitch. You know what I'm saying? This head flying monkey bitch. She's so dominating. It's ridiculous. She's a narcissist. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell you, ladies, women are narcissists, too. Okay, it's 80% men, 20% women, and this is one of the 20%. This flying monkey bitch is a, a, a narcissist. You know what I'm saying? She wants to dominate this feminine. She wanted to take this feminine out of her because her man wants her. Okay, that's crazy. <coughs> that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But, <coughs> yeah. He wants to... A foundation with her. He wants a foundation with this feminine. Her man wants a foundation with this feminine. Yeah. Her husband wants to leave her. And he wants to be with this feminine. He wants uh, to marry this feminine. He wants a foundation with this feminine. He wants to plant roots with this feminine. He wants to grow with this feminine. He wants to live with this feminine. He wants to be with this feminine. Well, she can't stand it. That's why she's trying to unalive her. I mean, crazy bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because her husband don't want her. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? She getting... They doing magic over there. You know what I'm saying? That's what I say. You got three flying monkey bitches in the coven doing magic on this feminine because her husband wants her. You know what I'm saying? He don't want her and he wants this other woman. So she over here doing magic. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Crazy. But you know this feminine, she done moved away from all that manipulation, all that deception, all that toxicity. She done moved away from all that. She's having a radical rebirth. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, it was a dark time that she went up under, that she was under, and now she moved into calmer waters. You know what I'm saying? And the spirit was like, this didn't happen in vain. You know what I'm saying? I want you to learn from your experience, and I want you to tell others and teach others so they can grow from your experience. All right? Dealing with this freaking narcissist. That is a woman that is totally jealous of her. She's so jealous. She's obsessed with her. She thinks she's phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? And she sees why her husband wants this woman. You know, she didn't fell in love with her herself. She's so obsessed with her. Trying to see what her husband wants. She ended up falling in love with her herself. You know what I'm saying? So bad, so... That she want to unalive her. She want to take her out of her. I mean, it's crazy because she's like, I can't beat her. I can't be as fabulous as, he, as she is. So I'm going to take her out of her. So she behind the scene, y'all. Being a flying monkey bitch. You know what I'm saying? And doing magic. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Weak ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? If you got a problem or something you want to say, let's take it to the woman. You know what I'm saying? Don't be behind the scene. Boil, boil, toil in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Just immature. Just immature. Oh, my goodness. Immature. I'm, this got to be a young person. And if it's not, and it's an older lady, she need to be ashamed of herself. And she need to get her life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, y'all. Let's see what the universe has to say about what's going on out here for my Aries. You know, because... These people playing with this magic, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Want to dominate somebody. You know what I'm saying? You know. 
this feminine could be uh, a person that receives messages from the divine. She could be an oracle, you know, and they don't want her to receive messages from the divine, you know. So that's why they wanted to dominate her and unalive her because she is an oracle. You know what I'm saying? It's all the same story. The way they did Medusa, that story plays over and over because Medusa was an oracle. And they ruined her reputation, you know, degraded her. <clears throat> so anybody would think of Medusa that thinks she's this horrible creature when she was not. She was the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you see how they, you know what I'm saying, spoiled her reputation. And somehow she turned me into stone. Yeah, she made them stop and, stop and look because she was so fine. Not like she turned them into stone and broke them up and they broke their face. No, it wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? She didn't have snakes in her head. She had locks. She was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? But like this person, these people, they want to spoil her reputation of who she is because of who she is. Okay? I mean, I'll tell you, boy, karmic, all right? <clears throat> Somebody sitting, waiting, you know what I'm saying? Um, they done sold their seeds, and they just ready to reap their reward, reward, and it's coming. Uh, and the divine is just picking the right time. And um, this, this feminine is sitting here just waiting patiently, you know what I'm saying? Just waiting patiently. She ain't in no rush. All right, y'all? Okay. Okay, y'all. Let me take a look at the cards, get the downloads from the universe, and I will definitely break the message down for my Aries. Give me a few seconds, guys. Okay, guys, you got this Emperor Aries energy here, who is a King of Wands <coughs> that's out there doing magic with these three fine monkey bitches, and one of these bitches he married to, you know what I'm saying? So he got his coven working against this feminine, okay? Uh, this person is a narcissist, okay? This is a particular person that's straight up cutthroat, and he's attacking this feminine and, uh, but he got caught, you know what I'm saying? She caught his ass. She know that it's him. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody from her past, okay? Um, he's sleeping with all three of these flying monkey bitches. You know what I'm saying? But he's not get, paying them any attention, and, he's, and his focus is on this feminine here, okay? Um, he may be sleeping with these three women, but he don't love them. You know what I'm saying? He don't give them no love, no type of emotion. And he, because he has all the emotion for this feminine, for this divine feminine. Okay. Um, but she caught him. You know what I'm saying? She caught, he got caught trying to control her with magic. Okay. He was over there doing spells on her, but she blocked it all. You know what I'm saying? She blocked it all. And now he's in regret. He's in regret that he was out here dealing with these women and sleeping with these women that he don't even care about. And he put this uh, connection that he wanted with her uh, on a back burner. And he has all type feelings for her. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that he has feelings for, he didn't want to be with. That's crazy. And so he just took it. He was out here just dealing with uh, just sex, no love, because he don't love now one of these, uh, not a now another, you know what I'm saying, he don't care about neither one of them, even the one that he's married to, you know what I'm saying, um, this masculine wants to have sex with this divine feminine, and he's in regret, and it's, and he's tripping, you know what I'm saying, his mental is off, because he's so off, uh, he can't, you know what I'm saying, he's trapped, he's tortured, because he wants to be with this feminine, um, this is somebody from this feminine past that she blocked. Um, she could block them from her social media, block them from her phone. And this person is obsessed. Do you hear me? This feminine, she moved away from all the manipulation, all the deception, all the lies, all the cheating, all the jealousy, all the envy, all the toxicity. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he was out here. She moved away from him because he's totally toxic. And then he has three other women that he's messing with that's following him around. So that's straight up toxic. And these women are in the covens, they doing magic and all the stuff, and this the divine feminine was like, I don't have time for this, you know what I'm saying, so she rejected this person, she abandoned this person, you know what I'm saying, and um, this person over here is juggling finances 
his finances, things, a, a lot is going on in his life. He's losing finances. He's robbing Peter to pay Paul. You know what I'm saying? And he's over here married to this whore. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this, um, the one that is obsessed with this feminine. She is in love with this feminine, a uh, divine feminine, actually. But, uh, He's going through some financial difficulties, financial constraints over here, uh, being married to this whore right here. This is somebody that sleeps around with any and everybody. She probably even a prostitute, a sex worker, a stripper, or something they get paid for it. But this is a job. You know what I'm saying? This is what she do. You know what I'm saying? She's a hoe. Use a hoe. I said that. Use a hoe. You know what I'm saying? And she got her two biscuit head ass friends with her that's helping her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's crazy. And all these banana face ass women is helping this masculine, this emperor, um, because they want to control this feminine. They want to dominate this feminine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's trying to control her. So he's sending, he's pretending he's loyal when he's not, when he's actually a wolf and he's sending all negative energy away. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's crazy uh, because he's juggling finances over here with this hoe. You know what I'm saying? I guess he want to be with this feminine because she's coming into finances. He wants to a commitment with her because of money. <laughs> so uh, he's uh, doing magic on this feminine to try to pay for this hoe that he with. You know what I'm saying? And he want to sleep with her. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, it's sad. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this feminine is on his mind. And he wants a commitment. He wants a commitment because... Uh, she's got a bag, or he knows that she's gonna get the bag, but you know, she got him blocked. You know what I'm saying? She rejected him, she don't want him, and he's obsessed and he's going through it mentally. You know what I'm saying? Because he knows that this feminine is coming into um, abundance, and she's just sitting, waiting. She sold her seed, and, she, and, the, and she's sitting. Devon told her to sit and wait. It's yours, it's coming to you. She got faith, she knows she's gonna get it, and she's just sitting, chilling, resting, enjoying herself, meditating. You know what I'm saying? And waiting for the right time. And that's divine timing. When divine is going to release these these monies, these uh, financial security to her. Okay? All right, y'all. <clears throat> Let me get some of these cards out here and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You know. Yeah. Yeah, they want to dominate her, honey. Um, this feminine is an oracle. She gets messages from the divine. You know, she's a Medusa and um an Antu. And um they didn't want her to receive messages. They wanted to take her out of here. You know what I'm saying? Take her out of here. They so obsessed with her. They love her so much that you know what I'm saying? His wife's like, I can't I can't you know what I'm saying? These people are energy vampires. Uh this uh these people know that this feminine is uh attracts a lot of abundance. Um she has a creative flow. That surges through her and everything she touches turns to gold. And this masculine, which is the emperor, he wants to have sex with her. Because he figures if he can tap into her energy, that'll open the door um, to his to value, to resources, to money, to abundance for him. You know what I'm saying? Um, the universe is, uh, this feminine has an opportunity to manifest anything that she wants. And the divine in the universe uh, wants to assist her in getting it. And this masculine knows it, okay? Uh, but this particular person is only worried about image and how people would see them. You know what I'm saying? And I, how they look in the public. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, I don't know. I guess he don't, he don't find himself attractive no more. You know what I'm saying? So... He um don't know that you would like the way that he looks anymore, his image, you know. Um, that's why he's uh off to himself, you know, um, hiding because of the way he looks. He's ashamed how he let himself go. But when you live a life with holes and you just you know, just gorging and you know what I'm saying? Ain't got no type of structure or discipline. You're eating everything. You're having sex with everything, everybody. You're taking all type of things into your body. You're drinking. You're drugging. That takes a toll. That takes a toll. And this is all this masculine has been doing. It's been out here partying. You know what I'm saying? Pancreas probably mixed up. Liver probably messed up. Gain weight from eating 
hot wings and nachos after he done came out from the club and then drinking all the time, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, just messing his body up. And now he's uh, afraid that this feminine won't look at him the way that, that she won't be attracted to him. So he's probably trying to get him a better wardrobe or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? The way that you are shows how you are on the outside. It takes toll on you. You know what I'm saying? And everything that you've been doing in your life is showing on, on your body, uh, masculine. So, uh, you don't care how you uh, shine up. You know what I'm saying? You can't shine up a turd. You know what I'm saying? And right now, you a turd. You know what I'm saying? You a piece of shit. So, you can't shine up a piece of shit because it's still going to be a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This masculine going to ruin their life. They done ruined their life, man. They done ruined their life. You know what I'm saying? He wants to ruin your life. He wants to ruin your life. These people want to ruin your life. This person, his wife, that's ahead of this coven, and him, they want to ruin your life because they are jealous and that you got away. You moved away from all the manipulation and everything, and you starting a new chapter, and you feeling yourself. You looking good. You taking care of your body. You know what I'm saying. You eating right. You working out. You know what I'm saying. And and, you, and all the struggles are over for you. You know what I'm saying. And now he want to come around, try to have sex with you, to try to you know play on your emotion, to try to get you in this relationship. <laughs> It's crazy. But you know what, Aries? You know what I'm saying? Um, I have a video out um, that I do with every Zodiac sign now called Bring Back the Love. So look at that. And uh, because it's like a, 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 a part two of every uh, Zodiac sign. And you will see why he wants to <coughs> get you in this relationship. All right? All right. But they want to ruin your life. They want to ruin your life. Just purity out of jealousy. <coughs> purity out of jealousy. Mm -hmm. Somebody needs to humble themselves. <coughs> Sorry. They don't want me to talk. This feminine has humbled herself. She's very humble. She's humbled herself. So that's why the divine moved her from this manipulation. <coughs> from all this toxicity. And he's given her stability. You know what I'm saying? Saved her from all this magic. You know? And she lived to tell it. You know what I'm saying? She's free. <coughs> She's free. Free as a bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's going to live. She's living to tell about her experience with dealing with these magicians. Magicians and it's magic and it's coven and it's masculine and she's living to tell it, okay? And this masculine is jealous of her relationship. She could be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? This could be her with somebody else. He's honored her with somebody that she could build a future with, somebody that she could be stable with, somebody that she could lay roots with. You know what I'm saying? And he's giving her this. He's honoring of her with this because she humbled herself. She humbled herself and he moved her away from the manipulation. And, you know, that this masculine was doing to her. You know what I'm saying? She's has, she's got another. She's got another. She could have a child. Oh, this light is in my way. She could have a child. She had someone that's kind and took her and her child away to a safe place. Someone that's loving her right. You know what I'm saying? Took her away from this magician. And the divine wants her to tell her story. Okay? Alright, guys. This is what we got for my Aries. Let me get an oracle card on here for my Aries. Okay? Let's get an oracle card for you to sum it up. You know? Yeah. Just this emperor is out here acting a damn fool. He being a king of wands. He out here doing spells with this coven against this divine feminine. You know, they want to ruin, want to ruin her life because she don't want to be bothered with him. Ain't that something? He's jealous of her relationship, you know, but she's not worried about it.
Her soul tribe is on it. You hear what I'm saying? Her soul family is on it. All she has to do is call and they will be there. You don't have to do it alone. They right by her. Protection all around her. Highly protected. So don't worry about this person and this magic. The divine is honoring you, sweetheart. With abundance and blessings. And you deserve it. Okay? All right, guys. This is what I have for my Aries. You feel anybody could benefit from this video? Please send it to them. And Aries, make sure you look at the second part of your video, which is bring back the love. It's something new that I started this year. Okay? But it's a part two of every zodiac sign. Okay? All right, guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you on my next video. And as I always end it, please get to know yourself. Know yourself. Know yourself. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.